Hello everyone, welcome back to uh, the conservatory here at Rathbone Manor. Um, I've just got back from the car boot sale, as you can see I bought a few bits, including something for Mrs Rathbone here. Speaking of Mrs Rathbone, before we start on this lot, I'll show you what she purchased from uh, the charity shop where she works. Let's have a look at this. Yeah, she picked up this little, um, I guess it's rattan corner stand to put her plants on because her uh, windowsill here, as you can probably see, is getting a little full at the moment. So she's not got a lot of extra space available. So she thought she'd pick this little filler up, filler up from work yesterday. Um, here's her new little cactus I picked up today. Cost me one pound fifty. That's quite nice. So I think she'll like that. So that can go. Uh, on there somewhere when she decides where she's going to put or what other plants she's going to put on here to the tools okay so I think I've got some uh, quite good quality tools today actually so let me bring the camera down here and let's start taking a look okay then so it's um, mostly pliers here today but I have got some rather nice spanners and uh, this little fellow right here. So let's start with this one, shall we? Alrighty then. So this is, uh, I believe, a little tiny grease gun, little uh, copper or brass, and or brass uh, grease gun. Um, the reason I picked this up is because my late father had one in his tool collection for some reason or another. It might have had something to do with the uh, motorcycles he used to have back in the day just operate it like thusly. Um, if we unscrew the end here, let's have a look at what's inside it. Are you going to come off? Hmm. Oh, here we go. There's a hole blocked up. Can we see through the hole? I think the hole might be a bit blocked up by the looks of it. So we might need to unblock that. Okay, what's down there then? Um, there's actually uh, what looks like a... Uh, you can't really see it here, but... Um, I'll put you a picture up here, but it looks like there's a cork um, seal in the bottom of there. And it looks a bit dried. And there's a bit of a gap all around it from what I can see. Um, but it's dry. Dry as a bone in here by the looks of it. So there we go. So, um, yeah, I, it's a bit dried out, so it's obviously quite old. It has got some... Um, well, it's a bit squeaky. It's got some uh, writing around here as well but there something other something written there two four nine eight six what does that say on there patent number I guess patent number There's some other numbers there we go that's well stamped in there there might be something else just here but I can't quite make that out hmm. Anyway, there's a the little grease gun. As I say, my late father had one in his toolkit, as I remember it as a child, way back in the 60s, etc. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, I was quite pleased to be able to pick that one up. Yo. Okay, so next up, I found... Um, I've been after another one of these. I've got uh, several already. But this is... Um, what size is this one? Oh, this is a seven-inch, seven-inch model. Is, is this one here? Um, it's got. There we go. It's got the footprint marking there, and stamped in there too. Made in England, no doubt. But the thing with it at the moment, it's very, very stiff, and you can't really move it all that easily. But it will go. God, wow! That's going to have to go into the. Uh, the parts cleaning ultrasonic tank at work. Blimey, get soup that is tight. But um, yeah, that's an, uh, quite a nice example. It doesn't look like it's been uh, too badly damaged either. It's just very, very stiff for some reason or other. So that'll be going into the uh, parts cleaning tank tomorrow. Then this little lot came from my favourite tool stall and cost me four pounds. I got this lot from uh, the first stall I came to that I saw had tools and I had a look through it and there's some quality kit right here guys. Uh, 
and they cost me two pounds this lot so um, let's take a look at what we got we'll start with this little fellow here I think alrighty then so what do we have here then well, we've got some very nice duck build pliers as you can see who they're made by Crescent Tool Company Jamestown New York and we've got a 650 and a 7 gently stamped in there too and over the other side we have Crest Alloy made in the USA and a couple of little marks in there which I think are probably going to be the owner's marks you can see they look in very good condition don't they and the cutters look alright too so they've not been abused what we've got on the line of um... oh yes my favourite style of uh teeth as it were in the end of the duck bill there I like this sort of cross hatch finish they're really nice I wonder what they uh, cut like okay so we've got some cable here we'll try this stuff right here and we'll also give them what we've we got here 702 ago let's start with the <clears throat> 702 so we can get that in there then we go oh yeah look at that this cuts very nicely all the way up and down there with the 7020 this stuff is multi-stranded right here let's give that a go should cut this stuff okay I reckon oh yeah look at that very nicely all the way up and down so these have been treated uh, very well somebody's um looked after these haven't they and they operate quite nicely there's no looseness that I can feel there in the joint there's going to need a bit of a polish up by the looks of it handles are also in very good condition yeah pleased with those little fellas then what do we have next then because you know I can't resist a nice pair of pliers guys you know that what have we got here then we have some uh, Crowter 1830 made in the USA what have we got on the other side aha a previous owner's mark and I like to see that on tools myself what the cutters like well they look fairly decent what sort of teeth we got in the end here some very nice uh, clean straight they're not the uh, cross hatch which I like to see they open and close very nicely no looseness again Let's see what these cutters are like, shall we? We'll start with the 7020 again. If I can get it in there, there we are. Let's have a look. Yep. Look at that, guys. Oh, hang on. Yeah, let's cut it. So I'm having to break it off at the back, though. They're not that good at jaws for some reason or another. But um, they're not doing too bad a job. I think they might have been a little bit damaged. Yeah, you can see a little bit of damage in there. But other than that, they didn't do bad at all. So let's try the uh, the larger stuff. Oh yeah. You can handle those nicely, the thicker stuff. I'm going to snap that off though. But uh, yeah, quite a nice pair of Crowter pliers. Not bad for 50 pence. Quite like the design. Handles in fairly good condition. A little bit of light rusting on there, I don't think that's going to be too much of a bother. Uh, owner's initials like that. Okay. What do you think of those in guys? They're quite good, aren't they? What we got next? Two pairs of slip joint pliers from Crescent. We've got the uh, L26 here. And we've got some... L25s as well. Oh, special. Oh, that's interesting. Special L25. Crescent Tools, Jamestown, USA. Any other markings on here? No. What are the jaws like in here? Not too bad. They're full of crap, as you can see. Full of greasy, filthy, oily muck, as, you, as they usually are. When you get these tools from a car boot sale, they're very often full of rubbish. They work quite nicely. Um, you've got that. Um, what's this stuff called now? I can't remember. We'll have to look it up. But we've got those markings 
on the um, handles there. Okay, so I was looking on Alloy Artifacts. They've got the L25s, which they reckon have got um, a thin jaw, which these appear to have, but they haven't got any mention of uh, special L25. So I had a close look at this pair, and we have a little screwdriver at the end of one of the handles, look. So, that's probably why they're special. I don't know what else makes them special. Got the checker dot going on there. <clears throat> but yeah, what an interesting little pair of pliers. I'm glad I picked these ones up now. Moving along to the larger pair. Are these marked as specials? I don't think they are. No, we just have L26, Crescent Tool Co, Jamestown, USA. Oh, there's USA on that one. But not on the other pair. Aha! Cross hatch like that. Okay. And we've got the same pattern. I have a feeling I've picked up a, a pair of these somewhere else. There's another car boot sale last year. They work quite nicely too. Hmm, I, wonder if I, can, um, I wonder if I can find them. Well, to be honest, guys, I've got so many tools kicking about here. It could take me absolutely all day to find them so uh, what we'll do is I'll have a look later on if I can find them I'll stick a picture up for you yeah so I'm pretty sure I've got another uh, set of these somewhere where they are I really don't know but um, so that's all uh, the pliers for today let's take a look at today's star buy what have we got here then well this is uh, another I've got one of these elsewhere out in the, uh, in the workshop somewhere but this is another tent of Sheffield um, adjustable one of these laminated jobs as you can just about make out there look you see the laminations in there and again this one's um military issue look 1943 1943 um, it hasn't it's just been taken home somebody's just taken it home if there was um, been done properly they would have another arrow stamp like that face in that one to show that it had been uh, sort of cashiered out or whatever but this one is in very good condition look at the jaws perfect closes nicely it runs quite nicely in fact it runs very nicely guys very nicely indeed does that um, I think you can also see some of the uh, heat treatment still left on here look you see it's lighter and darker there. Just there too by the looks of it. So this is a bit grubby and rusty at the moment. So I'll have to see if I can get that off. But this one is in excellent condition. I had to have this one when I saw it in there. Because it was actually under a bunch of other tools. And all I could see was like this bit there sticking out. I thought, oh, yep. But it does run very nicely actually. Nice and clean just there. But... Once you get it out to um, here somewhere, then it starts to stiffen up a little bit. I'm not too bothered about that at all though, guys, because it's in uh, such good condition. I say I've got another one of these somewhere. And I found a smaller one last year, which I've given to my uh, colleague in the workshop at work. I've got another one of these exactly the same size, but this one is in very, very, very nice condition. I like that one a lot. And that is why it's today's star buy. Wow, nice, I like that one. Okay then, so that is today's tool and cactus haul. As you can see from Mrs Rathbone, she um, said, uh, can you look for any cactuses for me? Uh, the guy had quite a few of them. This, is, this one's uh, very nicely in flower, look at that. So hopefully she'll be pleased with that one. I hope anyway. She likes uh, plants and cacti, so uh, yeah, she'll be a good one then. Okay then everyone, I hope you enjoyed uh, taking a look at uh, today's little tool haul here. Um, hopefully, should we, will I be going next week or should I go the week after? I usually go every two weeks but uh, there is another car boot sale that's opening up again next week so I might pop along there, I'm not sure. Hello, what's this? Wondering about, I might... Gotcha. How dare you wander about on my review table. Anyway, um, yes, so I uh, hope you enjoyed taking a look at these tools. 
Um, and I hope you'll don't forget to leave some any comments down in the uh, below in the downtown down there down there guys leave your comments down there let me know which is your favorite tool of this lot which is my favorite tool of this lot well I think it has to be the little um, the little tent because I think that's that, that is my star buy and it's in really good condition obviously I like the pliers hopefully Mrs Rathbone's gonna like the cactus but yeah, I had to buy the pliers, especially these two here, because they're in such good condition. So uh, I do like a nice pair of pliers, as you guys know. Alright then, guys. Well, uh, thanks for popping over, and I'll see you in a future video then.